When you were when you were a kid growing up in in London, who were the heroes? What did you want to be? I'd say. There wasn't really, I mean, I always loved like Debbie Harry. You know, I thought she was fantastic, glamour, sexy star. I thought Marilyn Monroe was great, but most of them were old fashioned stars. I was always into Frank Sinatra and, um, and Barbara Streisand and just people that were classic, timeless singers and that music, you know, their music will never date. And, um, and that was something I was into. But then every now and then, you know, like the Debbie Harrys and um, the Adamants and that kind of thing, I was really, really into. But wasn't your first ambition to become a stripper? Yes. <laughs> in, in what circumstances? How old were you when you decided you wanted to be a stripper? I was four. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking along one day. Um, we were walking along. Where were we? We were near Columbia Road Flower Market and there was a pub and I was walking along with my mum and this woman walked by with this like red flicked hair and this fur coat and she smelt really strong of perfume and I thought she was really glamorous and she had these high heels that went clippity-clop and I thought, oh, she is beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. I mean, made up like you wouldn't believe. And, um, and I said to my mum, I said, mum, I said, she's gorgeous. And then she opened this door and all these men went, whoa! <laughs> and then she went in. And um, I thought, oh, fantastic, she's got a plush, she's got a plush. I said, mum, you know, who is she? What does she do? And she said, uh, She's an exotic dancer. <laughs> and uh, I said, oh, right. She didn't, sometimes they're called a stripper. And I said, well, why? Because sometimes they take their clothes off very quickly. <laughs> and um, I was like, wow. I went, and they get, she'd get cheers. She went, yeah. I said, did she get paid? She went, yeah. I went, lots of money she went sometimes. I said, that's it. I want to be a stripper. <laughs> and um, she said, you can't go around telling people that. People are going to wonder how I'm bringing you up. But that's what I wanted to be. And I used to practice. And I used to watch the film Gypsy with feathers. And <laughs> loved it. Absolutely loved it. Anything and glamorous, I've always loved. Never been ashamed of it. Um, but your mum, of course, she was the, I, I read again that she was the model that you used when you got the big break on EastEnders yeah. and, and Tiffany, wasn't she? Yeah, she was a, yeah well, only because sense? she'd been a barmaid. She'd been a barmaid for years in East London. And, um, and she was kind of really tongue-in-cheek about it, the way she said it to me. But I said, Mum, I said, I've got to dress up as a barmaid. I went along and I was just wearing jeans and jumper and they said that I wasn't, you know, dressed right. They want me to come back a bit more brassy. I said, how did, you know, all the barmaids used to dress in the pubs? And she'd go, right, what you do is you wear a low V-neck top, ha-ha. <laughs> Cleavage, ha ha. <laughs> Gloss, ha ha. See, I've not changed. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... And, um, and she said, and you lean forward and you say in a nice but firm way, what do you fancy? <laughs> she said, and hopefully they'll stay you and you'll get drinks all night. <laughs> and, um, and I went for the part, you know, I was sort of, you know, fake tanned up, big, big jewellery and necklaces and stuff, fishnet tight, short skirt, saucy Owen in the lift and he didn't know what hit him. I was like, hi, I don't just like this all the time. This is, this is just for the role. He was like, yeah, right. <laughs> and, um, and I went and auditioned uh, in the outfit and they just said, the part's yours. Oh, and that was Tiffany history. Mitchell. <laughs> Tiffany Raymond, actually, at Tim, the time. That's right.